Hey there, Joe. It's Oceana here. I'm sure you remember talking to me the other day on the phone. Here's that website audit that I promised you, the quick uh, video showing you a few things that you can do to your website to start getting more jobs. Uh, so let's just jump right in. Uh, first of all, I love your logo. It's a very pretty logo. I like the simplistic colors with the, um, the very interesting lettering and of course the Washington um, outline there. I think it's lovely. I would say you'd probably actually want to move it up into the corner here, uh, make it a bit smaller, and then also include a click to call phone number up here. It's really going to help uh, your mobile visitors, which is going to be 70% of all of the visitors to your website uh, that are going to be on mobile there. So uh, next, I like to go over content. Hi there. <laughs> I like that you have a picture of yourself on the website. A lot of people like to try to hide behind the brand, but I find that uh, people who actually post themselves on the websites often get better responses. Um, so the content is all of the uh, writing on the site, right? So all of the words on the page. We really suggest that you have 2,000 plus words on that home page. Uh, that may sound like a lot, but that's the amount that Google starts to take seriously. Uh, what we're trying to do is convince Google that you're the most relevant and the most authoritative landscaper in the area you serve and that um, they want to show your information to its searchers, right? So um, what you want to do is you want to add lots of content here talking about landscaping and using certain keywords that people are using when they're looking for your services in the area that you serve. So things like landscape Seattle, right? You want to make sure that's in there. Um, and we go more into actually how to find out what keywords to use later, but Okay, so uh, lots of words, that's the first clue. And then um, if I right click on an image and I click save image as, I can see that your, your images were saved as just kind of gibberish. Um, that might be helpful to a computer, but not to Google and not to uh, us. So um, even though Google is a computer, but <laughs> anyway. Um, so what you want to do is you want to save these images as those keywords that I was talking about, things that someone would type into Google if they were looking for your services in your service area. So um, I'm going to throw you into this uh, tool that we have. This is a tool that my, my agency uses and pays for every month. It's kind of spendy. But what it does is it gives us an in-depth view of how your um, website is performing, what it is actually doing for you. So um, here's some interesting pers uh, things. <laughs> so you've got one other domain pointing to your website twice. Um, that is what I know from looking at this. Um, backlinks are very important. That's what that is. It's a backlink. And um, what they do is they pass authority from the website with the link on it to the website that the link goes to. Uh, it's basically a vote of confidence pushing your website to the top of the organic results. Um, and right now, this is a very low number. I see the buildermarket.com. You've got two links coming from that one site. Um, so, I mean, that's a good start. The DR there was actually excellent. It's a really good backlink. What you want to do is go and get more of those. Um, you are not showing up for any organic keywords. That tells me that no matter what a person types into Google, they're just, you're just not going to show up in that, in the organic results. Uh, you might show up on maps, but it's unlikely. Um, but you're not going to show up in the organic results, which means that you're not getting any traffic. This is zero traffic there. Those are really pitiful numbers, but we can definitely, that just means that there's room to grow, right? <laughs> so, um, okay. So this is the Google results here. So usually there's some ads at the top. They're not showing up right now. Uh, and then we've got the map pack. This is what I was talking about. You might show up even if you don't have, um, any keywords on your website, but that takes a whole other thing actually. Um, so instead of backlinks, which get you to the top of the organic results, which is down here. Up here, in order to get into the map pack, what you need is citations. Citation is similar in that it passes authority from one site to another, but instead of being a link, it is a, um, a listing having your name, address, and phone number the same way that it would show up 
here in the map pack um, using your Google My Business listing. So uh, if you're not interested, if you're not uh, familiar with uh, Google My Business, um, go ahead and let me know and I will definitely help you with that. I can help you set that up. So, um, but regardless, um, so in order to get up here, what you want to do is go to different directories um, like Yext, City Star, uh, White Pages, Yellow Pages, etc. Even Facebook actually has a place where you can uh, input your information as a citation. And what that does is that pushes your authority, right? gives you authority, tells Google that people are talking about you and that you're reputable, and it pushes you to the top of these organic, I mean, the, the map pack, the maps results. Uh, in order to get to the top of the map pack, um, sorry, in order to get to the top of the organic results, uh, that's where you're going to want those keywords and backlinks and lots of content. Um, let's see. So this is your competitor down here. This is the first local listing. We've got some directory listings, um, but we're going to focus on comparing you to the first local listing here. Uh, and this is them. And they've got more content than you do. That's true. Um, their website does look prettier, right? But I don't really care about if it looks pretty. Yeah, I mean, if I built you a website, it would look pretty, right? But um, <laughs> that doesn't matter as much as making sure that you show up in front of people, um, which they're doing a better job at. It's just simple as that. Um, they've got more backlinks by far, and they show up for lots of keywords. Now, that may look intimidating, but what that means is that we can go in there we can say, okay, Landscape Services Seattle, that definitely pertains to us. If we were sitting in the first position like they are for this, which they wouldn't be difficult to beat out. Oh, here, let me actually um, throw their their website into Arabs. Oh, well, I just, I, you just saw that. Never mind. Sorry, I'm a little tired. <laughs> so um, if we were sitting in that first position, we could be expecting to get those 22 traffic, right? Um, and then they're showing up for their name. That's to be expected. Landscapers, Seattle, Washington, that's getting 100 searches every month. So th that tells me 100 people every month are typing Landscapers, Seattle, WA into Google. And of those, um, your competitor is getting 18 website visits every month. And that's because they're sitting in the second position. They'd be getting about one and a half to two times that amount if they were sitting in the first position. So, you know, you can go through and add these up, start thinking, you know, because um, what they don't have is someone who really knows what they're doing and can throw a lot of fire, like gas on this fire, right? So um, you could you could get to and surpass them quite quickly uh, with the right, with the right, uh, uh, players in the, on the field, right? <laughs> so uh, there's a lot of promise here. Those are the things that you're going to want to do. Um, and uh, I'll just quickly recap real fast. Um, you're going to want to increase the relevant content on your home, on your homepage and on the back pages, 2000 words on the homepage and 1000 words on each of those back pages is going to help you a lot. Uh, implement backlinks to rank for high volume keywords, the ones that we went over and uh, more if you find them. Um, and then add citations. Make sure that you have the name, address, and phone number listed in lots of directories around the, the internet so that you can show up at the top of the map pack. And if you do those things, I mean, you're really going to be doing pretty well. You're going to be seeing a lot more um, calls coming from your website and those are going to be exclusive leads unlike the ones on home advisor where you're paying for the lead and you're sharing it with several people so you might not even get it this is more where they call you and really only you and um, they might do a little shopping around but they're a lot less likely to do it because they're not being encouraged like with home advisor they're being encouraged to compare um, different prices and and with this there's less of a bid work going on so um, let me know if you have any questions I will be following up to see if this was helpful um, if I was rambling too much um, <laughs> and that kind of thing so um, I look forward to your feedback and I also look forward to seeing if there's anything that I can do to help you moving forward okay I'll talk to you soon bye